Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to withdraw your Bitcoin from Kraken into a hot wallet using the Lightning Network. Now, a hot wallet is basically a Bitcoin wallet that you might use for making payments in Bitcoin. So usually they're really simple and easy to use, and they also make use of the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network is a layer two technology built on top of the Bitcoin ecosystem. The benefit of Lightning is that the fees are a lot cheaper compared to on-chain transactions, and they're also much faster. So it makes it really appropriate for smaller transactions and payments. But the downsides are it's less secure. So you probably wouldn't want to make large payments over the Lightning Network. The wallet we're going to be transferring the Bitcoin into is a custodial Lightning wallet with Wallet of Satoshi. Now, because it's custodial, it means a third party will actually hold the keys to the Bitcoin, which means it's less secure. But for using as a hot wallet and topping it up to make small payments, it's a really good wallet. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Now, if you've never bought Bitcoin before and don't know how to do it, I'll leave a link down below in the description to my video breaking down how to buy your first Bitcoin on Kraken and it will show you the cheapest and easiest ways to do it. But once you've done that and you know how to buy your first Bitcoin, come back here and we'll get into how to withdraw it into a hot wallet. The first thing you're gonna to need to do if you haven't already is download the Wallet of Satoshi app. It's really simple to download and get going and you don't even need to fill out any of your details. It's just ready to go from the outset. Now, once you've done that, it's really simple to use and top up your hot wallet. So you can see I've currently got 5,000 sats, which is worth about three pounds but I want to top this up. So to do so, I'm going to press receive and make sure at the bottom left, I've ticked lightning. And then all I'm going to do is type in an amount and I'll do this in pounds just so it's easier. So I'm going to try five pounds, which is about 9,339 sats. So once I've done that, I can generate an invoice, copy that, and then we're gonna go into Kraken. So I'm gonna go into Kraken Pro, but it doesn't really matter if you use Kraken or Kraken Pro. They are both lightning capable. Now we're going to go into portfolio, scroll down and find Bitcoin, and then we're going to go withdraw. Now we're going to withdraw on the lightning network. So on lightning, you can see there's no fee with a 0.000001 Bitcoin minimum. But if we were to withdraw Bitcoin on chain, you can see there's a higher minimum amount and there's also a higher fee. So click on Lightning. And now it's popped up asking if we want to allow Wallet of Satoshi to copy and paste. So yes, because we copied the address from Wallet of Satoshi, so we'll allow that. And we can simply paste that in there. And you can see the amount is 0.0009339, which is exactly right. Um, then we can click Next. Now it's going to ask us to verify the withdrawal address by email. So that's fine. Every time you set up a new address on Kraken, it will ask you to do this. So we can open the email, wait for that email to come in and then confirm it. There we go, confirm address. Okay, so now if we come back into Kraken, that's all accepted. And you can see that that payment's ready to go. So we're withdrawing this amount, fee zero, uh, on the Lightning Network and the processing time is instant. So we can confirm that. And that's done. And if we go back into Wallet of Satoshi, you can see the payment's been received pretty much instantly. And that's really all there is to it. So we've basically just withdrawn five pounds worth of Bitcoin using the Lightning Network into Wallet of Satoshi. Now you might be thinking, why would you want to withdraw your Bitcoin from Kraken into Wallet of Satoshi? if Kraken's already Lightning capable. So as you saw, when withdrawing Bitcoin from Kraken using the Lightning Network, you have to confirm the address via email and it's quite a long-winded process. But if you want to use Bitcoin to make fast, quick payments on a daily basis, Wallet of Satoshi is set up much better for faster payments. And all you need to do is scan a QR code and press send. So just to show you how quick and easy it is to send Bitcoin using Lightning from Wallet of Satoshi to another Lightning address, Let's open up Phoenix Wallet, which is another lightning capable Bitcoin wallet. So if we press receive, we're going to edit the amount and let's go with a thousand sats. So you can edit the amount, type a thousand, and that's worth 53p, which isn't very much, but it doesn't really matter. So you can press save. Now we can copy that. Now, if we go back to Wallet of Satoshi, we can press send paste that there, click allow paste, and now we have the invoice ready to be paid. So it's 53p, 1000 sats, all we need to do is press send. 
And there we go, the 1000 sats have been sent almost instantly. So now if we go back to Phoenix Wallet, you can see the 53p or 1000 sats have been received. And so hopefully you can see that it's a lot faster using Wallet of Satoshi for if you actually want to spend your Bitcoin for goods and services. But that covers everything for today, guys. If you did make it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you found it useful, drop a like down below. Drop your thoughts down below in the comments as well. And if you are new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell so you stay up to date with all of my latest content. Look out for a video very soon where I'll show you exactly how to withdraw your Bitcoin on chain into a secure cold storage wallet. But with that being said, take it easy and enjoy the rest of your day.